Welcome everybody, I'm Nicola Burton from Music Means Business and I'm here today with the Pushworth booking team, the Triple M's. We have Manny, Michael, Mark, if you Hi. haven't met them before. Today is the uh, first podcast for us of something that we've called The Music Reel. So we're keen to check in with everyone to see how you're going in this lockdown. And we wanted to talk about all the things that impact somebody in the music business. So whether you're in a venue, whether you're a publicist, whether you're a producer, an artist, um, whatever you're doing in this music business, this unprecedented historical event has changed the face of our music landscape forever. So that's why we're here talking to you, to you with the music reel. So I thought I'd start with Manny, see what he's been doing in the lockdown and his thoughts about what to expect in the next coming weeks. Over to you, Manny. Well, I guess, uh, what have I been doing? Uh, I, I've been working on my physical fitness, which filters into my mental fitness. And that also, as you know, we manage a, a few artists here in Australia and a couple overseas. So I've been liaising with them, obviously, looking at the projects that uh, we're getting pro you know, post-COVID ready. Also been liaising to a couple of, you know, with a couple of venue operators that we deal with on a regular basis. And we're stepping out our stages and surmising when we're going to uh, open doors and uh, we're, you know, subsequently planning. So everything right. is post-COVID at the moment. Great. That's good. And Michael, what about you? What have you been doing? Well, I've been using this opportunity to um, practice quite a lot, um, which is something you don't usually get to do that much. So it's been good to practice some different stuff, do some different things. Um, been writing a whole bunch of new music as well, which is really good. Um, and also just been keeping in touch with musicians and venues and, and just sort of, you know, like Manny said, planning stuff for, you know, when this is all over. And, and um, yeah, but it's been good. It's been good to relax. It's good to stay focused on what's important. Because you haven't really, you and Mark, haven't had much time off for a really long time. I mean, it's been gigging, you know, three, four, five nights a week and then yeah. booking five days a week and then the constant yeah. phone calls. You guys haven't seen your wives for ages. You haven't, <laughs> you know, you've really barely. So I think it's kind of like you both look really relaxed and far healthier yeah. than I've ever seen you look. Yeah, definitely relaxed. Yeah, yeah. that's great. And Mark, what have, what have you been doing? Um, yeah. Cutting on exactly with what you've said there, just really taking the downtime to relax, um, just take the time off, spend some time with the wife, some quality time that, as you said, is uh, just so very, very rare in this industry, especially with how hard we all work. So for me, it's been get out the back in the garden and um, I've got two new veggie gardens going on at the moment. Um, just doing what we can to sort of keep our minds active and not try and think about the negative bullshit too much when it comes down to it. So... Yeah. Um, yeah, stay positive. Well, I mean, all four of us have been talking to a lot of acts over the last few weeks. And um, a lot of the acts I've been talking to have really struggled with, well, who am I if I'm not able to go out and play live? So whether you're an original act or you're a covers act, you're still providing the soundtrack to people's lives. So what do you guys think is going to change post-COVID when we get out of this lockdown? What do you think is going to change to the live music landscape moving forward? What do you think? Well, I think, um, I think the lines between what cover musicians do and what original touring musicians will be a little bit blurred at the moment. I think because the, there's going to be an uptake in, we're all, we've been sitting in, like in lockdown mode, that people are just wanting to go out and actually see musicians play music. Yeah. So the line will be blurred, I feel, as well. Um, so I'm really looking forward to when these doors reopen. So I think music is music. Great musicians are great musicians and great songs are great songs. Great. What do you reckon, guys? Michael, Mark? Yeah, I, th I think a lot, of, a lot of musicians will probably appreciate a little bit more um, how good the Australian live music scene is. Um, it's so much different to anywhere else in the world, whether it be Europe or the US. Um, we have such a great music scene here, and it's it's. Um, I think there'll be something that a lot of people take a lot less for granted uh, when it all kicks back in. We've been so lucky. We've had so many gigs, so many artists, so many shows, so many events. And when you you know sit in front of Aquarius the last month and cancel everything, 
it's just you think, wow, there's been so many shows happening. Yep. And to go from that to zero is, you know, I can see how mental health wise, it could be really stuffing with how people are feeling right now. Mark, the guys that you've been talking to, how are they processing all of this? Look, the general consensus from what I'm hearing out there is as, as horrible as this situation actually is, it's most people are trying to find the positive side of it, um, which is really, really good to see. Yeah. Uh, Cause I think look, mentally, if you let any of this sort of stuff get on top of you, it's not going to end well. Um, and you know, there's, there's so much out there. There's so many people out there that want to help and do what we can during this situation. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, look, we, this was um, our first chance to really check in with you guys. We left it for a month. Um, and a lot of the reason why we did that is being, we've been really busy chasing payments. We've been busy trying to, as you've heard, the guys have tried to just stop, have some time and just recover from the crazy of, well, I've worked with Manny for 30 years, Michael for 17, Mark for six, and I've never seen them stop like this. So it's, it's good for their health. But primarily, you know, mental health is something that Pushwork is very focused on. We work with our artists and also our venues and promoters. And I guess the, the wonderful benefit of this last month is we've had the time to feel all of it, the anger, the frustration, the terror, the fear, the confusion. We felt all of that. And as musicians, you get to use all of that in your music. So whether you're writing or whether you're, you know, recovering somebody else's classic, you get to pour all of that into your music so over the next few weeks as long as we're in lockdown we four will be coming together talking about all the different ways that we're going to work with you to boost your music brand so that when this is all over you're going to come out of it as a, a very different music workforce a very different music artist so we're all in it with you all of the processes we've been using over the last 30 17 six years with all of you We'll actually present, we'll be presenting with you every week in the music reel. We'll have special guests and we'll be running different programs. So look, tune in with us. We'll have it on the Pushwork Group, Music Means Business, Manic and the Music Reel. Um, follow any of us on Facebook or Instagram. And we want to hear from you. What would you like to talk about? Or would you like to come on and talk with us about what it's been like in lockdown? We want to hear from you because ultimately this industry is all about you. So guys... Thank you. Thank you, Triple M's. Thank you. And we will see you guys. See you guys. Soon.